sport. But these developments are not ambitious enough and will take, in some cases, many years. The Lewis Link to Broombridge has been a wonderful success, with many commuters from the Finglas area commuting daily. One of the biggest problems with Broombridge is the lack of parking places, set down places, as well as the lack of feeder buses to service the station, which amazingly was overlooked. And I'd like you to look into this. The southern part of Finglas is the worst service for public transport in the whole of Finglas and the city. Areas such as Scribblestown, Valley Park, Tolka Valley, Dunsogley, Ratfilly, Virginia, Kilchain and Deanstown have little or no service, even though there are a lot of elderly, young children and people with disabilities that can't walk long distances. One of the first PPPs for 70 housing units is planned for Scribblestown and is expected to start in the near future. Dunsink Lane in Finglas, beside Valley Park, has the potential for 4,500 to 12 thousand units to be built as well as the valley area in Finglas South. A link to the proposed Metro North to the airport from Broombridge could be done across virgin lands not yet developed. Minister, even a standalone link from Broombridge to the top of North Finglas could be a standalone project, which would be economical and would also open up lands, especially in Dunsink Lane, for development, and would also serve as one of our best hospitals, Kappa Hospital. The population of Finglas is rising. Traffic congestion on the Finglas Road is at an all-time high, and the nearby M50 resembles a car park at peak hours. You don't have to be an Einstein to see that public transport is the only way forward. The most economic and environmentally friendly and straightforward way to do this is through the Finglas area. Thank you. Carl the NTA's transport strategy for the Greater Dublin area provides a framework for the planning and delivery of transport infrastructure and services in the GDA over the next two decades. Del the delivery of these projects is obviously subject to a number of influencing factors, including funding availability. I have already ensured that Budget 2018 will provide an enhanced four-year capital envelope of £2.7 billion for public transport over the period 2018-21. This funding will progress key capital programmes set out in the NTA strategy that will help address congestion and emerging capacity constraints on our public transport system across our cities, including major projects in the Greater Dublin area, such as Bus Connect, the DART, expansion programme and Metro North. The recently opened Lewis Cross City will add an estimated 10 million extra journeys every year on the Lewis network. In addition, the Green Line Capacity Enhancement Project, recently approved by Government, will enhance current capacity limits at peak hours on the Lewis Green Line and cater for future demands along the line. Funding of over 300 million has been allocated under the plan to continue planning, design and construction of new Metro North with construction work commencing in 2021 and passenger services starting in 2027. Design and planning work is already underway. And I'm happy to inform you that in a few weeks, a public consultation process will be undertaken on the, on the EPR, that's the uh, Emerging Preferred Route. The estimated cost of completing the new Metro North project is estimated at £2.4 billion and is being considered in the context of the 10-year capital plan, which will be published shortly. Turning specifically to the issues raised by the deputies, the latter period of the NTA's GDA, GDA strategy, 2016 to 2035, includes a number of proposals to further develop the light rail na network in the GDA. This includes the extension of the Lewis Cross City from its terminus at Broombridge to the north of Finglas to provide a high capacity radio service from this large su suburb into the city centre in the latter period of that strategy. There are currently no proposals to provide a metro link from Broombridge to the airport via Finglas. Provision for appraisal and planning for Lewis at Finglas and other Lewis extensions, including in latter stages of the NTA transport strategy, are being considered in the context of the forthcoming 10-year capital plan. Deputy Ellis has one minute. I thank the Minister. Minister, we're all welcome in Metro North and we're all waiting for that to, to, to get moving. And I do think it's a bit long. I wish we could speed it up even more. But Minister, I do think there's an onus on yourself and your department, the NTA and the Transport Infrastructure Ireland, that you should look at this and they should be told to look at this. Because it, doesn't, it wouldn't cost an arm and a leg to come from Broombridge to Finglas. It's only a short distance, maybe two to three miles to take it into North Finglas. And you, that could be planned into the Metro North to link into the Metro North if, if it came to that. As it, it could be a standalone project or it could be linked in. 
the, 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 the benefits to the environment in terms of traffic congestion, pollution, is, is absolutely massive. We have the main Ashbourne Road there with the traffic coming in. It's absolutely chocker block coming in. We have people coming off the M50 there from various different areas and it's absolutely chocker block getting into Hart's Corner up to Glasnevin. And really, we, really, we have an opportunity here to plan in advance. The fields in Dunsink Lane are virgin fields. We have an opportunity to look at those, to put a Metro North through there and talk to Fingal. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ben.